Oh my god, I'm so vegan. Look at me wearing my necklace. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to the channel and if it's your first time here, hiya, I'm Paul, I'm Jason, and together we are Those Vegan, vegan guys. guys. Now, if you want to get straight to the shopping, go here, to this time, but we like to have a little chat in the car first before we go in. So today we're doing Sainsbury's and M&S. We are, we are. We're going to try and get two done. It's Friday the 19th of January, um, so our working week which is Monday to Thursday, finished yeah. last night, obviously. We had a lovely dinner and a wind down and kind of got planning uh, for this weekend's vlogging. Of course, we've still got vlogs to do in Morrison's and Asda, yeah. uh, which we'll poss possibly do next weekend. Yeah, yeah. And maybe the co-op, if we can fit it in. Maybe the co-op, if we can fit it in. Although our local co-op we've been very disappointed with, actually, which brings me to an important point. So we live in Oldham, right? So our kind of standard, our main place where we shop for veg and wine and bread and, you know, bits that you kind of need on a regular basis is Sainsbury's Oldham. Mm -hmm. However, it's very true to say that Sainsbury's Ashton, which is where we are now, is far superior it is. to Sainsbury's Oldham. And it's only a couple of miles down the road. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, it's uh, we're in a <coughs> okay. We're in a situation where it's kind of tick tock, tick tock now in terms of not the social media platform, but the time. January is flying. Um, if you've seen our previous vlogs that we've done in the January, it really is about trying to show you as much as possible. Yeah. It's showing you the new stuff that's in for the January or the new launches where we can. But that's mainly. Lidl and Aldi. To be fair, they yeah. Do that because uh, as we showed you in the massive Tesco vlog, and if you haven't seen that, I highly recommend watching it. It's a, almost an hour long, and there are literally hundreds of items yeah. featured. Yeah. Um, Get your pen and paper ready. And most of them are core items, much like what we're going to show you in Sainsbury's today. These items won't just be in for this month. Uh, this Sainsbury's has always had a really, really good range. And the aim of these vlogs is to try and show you that you can go to one supermarket and get your entire shop there. Not necessarily when it comes to cleaning products and care, personal care products. Mm -hmm. There'll be things we will touch on in other vlogs. I might do some mini vlogs while I'm working. Yeah. And just kind of... Because... For your cleaning stuff, it's like home bargains and B&M bargains are brilliant. Really, really good. Um, we th This is really random. We are almost always buy our washing up liquid from M&S because it's like a quid. And it's clearly marked vegan and cruelty free. But it's one of the only ones out here that does that. So when whenever we're down here, I'll get like three bottles, 200 kitchen cupboard once you and then we're stocked up for a couple of months a couple or a few months it's the way to go it's the way to go we're lucky that we've got so many supermarkets around us yeah. here personally um but we also recognize and appreciate that some of you don't have that luxury and you might only have one big supermarket nearby yeah um, and anybody that's new on the vegan journey in veganuary right now you might be in that position as well where you're like well i've not got five to choose from i've got one big one yeah however if you do um if you, if you have a car for example uh, if you're lucky enough to have a car as we are it sometimes it's worth that mile extra or two miles extra to the same store you normally shop at just a different branch of it and you'll find as we have with shopping down here in ashton that this store is much better than the oldham store so it's a great one to vlog in um <clears throat> so i suppose we better get in and get started haven't we because i guarantee there will be a plethora <laughs> um, yeah there will be there will stuff. be yeah uh, so shall we let's do it Sainsbury's it's that away I know you don't need us to show you the fruit and veg section but just to show you that uh, Sainsbury's are doing like many of the supermarkets are doing now like the Aldi Super 6 and the Tesco 
five or <laughs> whatever. So there's always these. Is it, is it worth getting a Nectar card if you shop at Sainsbury's? Absolutely it is, because they're doing the same thing now with the Nectar card prices. Um, you, so, yeah, you know, they've got all of this and a huge amount of fresh fruits and vegetables and salads and uh, well worth having a look. So should you fancy a pan au chocolat or a croissant for your breakfast, uh, you can get these um, fabulous, clearly marked vegan, you see right there, uh, Saint Pierre. They also sell this same brand in um, Asda, uh, I believe, and sometimes you'll find La Boulangerie, which are also vegan croissants and pan au chocolate. Two pounds ten, absolutely lovely, well worth buying and trying. Uh, we have them every weekend, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. So there you go. Much like many supermarkets now, much of the uh, bread in here is vegan. And in particular, the sliced white loaves. So extra thick, soft white toasty loaf by Sainsbury's, 75p. I just threw Darren with his trolley a dirty look. <laughs> I didn't really. Uh, there's a soft white, clearly marked vegan, 75p. There's a basic whole meal, clearly marked vegan, 75p. But a lot of Horvis's breads as well are um, clearly marked vegan. Just look on the packets. Let's just pick one, for example. See sensations. Do you see? Do you see? Because that's a suitable for vegetarians and vegans. It does. Marvellous. And that's Horvis now. Linda, I'm vlogging, thank you. Uh, this is Jason and mine's uh, favourite loaf. It's, it's our standard loaf, multi-sealed wholemeal farmhouse. It's 135, but it's worth every penny. It's clearly, clearly marked vegan, right there. Uh, and it's utterly delicious. So if you like a kind of wholemeal style seeded loaf, we highly recommend that one. Just in case you didn't know, all of the New York bakery core uh, bagels are clearly marked vegan. You'll also find the same with a lot of wraps and pita breads and all that kind of thing. And, although not marked vegan, uh, Sheldon's muffins, there they are, Sheldon's oven bottom muffins are vegan by ingredients and a staple amongst many vegans, including ourselves. But is Barbara. It's £8.00. But uh, Sainsbury's do a lovely chocolate celebration cake. Plant Pioneer's chocolate celebration cake, eight pound. Now here's a warning. Um, you would think that Just Love, the brand that we've shown you in Tesco and many other supermarkets, was always vegan. It isn't. This one here that says gluten-free is suitable for vegetarians because it's got egg in it. Uh, so, like we always say, always, always, always check your labels. And if it's clearly marked vegan, it's clearly marked vegan. Can't get a good shot here because Brian's left his bleeding bread all over the place. <laughs> um, Plant Pioneers lemon cake and chocolate cake, £3.75. Uh, and underneath you've got all the ogs, again, many of which are vegan. Um, but those uh, lemon cake and chocolate cake, the Plant Pioneers ones at 375 are both lovely. Oh, with a bit of vegan cream. Marvellous. See, now here's where you have to be careful. We just, Them two up there, which are vegetarian, not vegan, were on top of this section here, which are vegan. So these two are only vegetarian. They've got milk in. Uh, but this one is vegan, and it clearly says on the top, plant-based and on the back suitable for mm. vegans. Mm. There's also, oh, the Heartless Jellies are clearly marked vegan. Yeah. We've shown you them in Aldi, I think. Mm -hmm. Two quid with your next card. And the 10 cal ones are uh, vegan as well, I believe. Yes. Yeah. You know, three pound with an extra card for a nice little jelly, whack it in your fridge, love the cold jelly. <laughs> However, Worth mentioning, yes, we've had to start filming again because we checked uh, the Hartley's jelly blocks have got pork gelatin in them. So it's only the ready-made ones that are marked vegan. Only if you see vegan on the packet 
is it vegan? And there's a whole range of jams and stuff, and a lot of uh, Sainsbury's own ones are clearly marked vegan and always have been. Come on, Barbara, sort yourself out. She's not having it. Trust me, it says vegan. And a whole range of peanut butters as well, including uh, Stamford Street £1.25 jar of peanut butter, which again is clearly marked vegan. Like most of the big supermarkets now, Sainsbury's has got a fantastic chilled section. Uh, th this is just on one um, aisle. So, you know, we're starting off with all of the squeaky bean stuff, which is varied prices, as you can see. Now, we haven't tried, we've tried the um, Aldi smoked salmon style slices we had it on a bagel with cream cheese and it was all right but we were never massive fans anyway uh like you know of, of kind of that kind of fish alternative we've got tuna style pieces steak style pieces all sorts a whole range of corn stuff now corn is um a bit of a minefield because if it's vegan it says vegan on it or you know somewhere on the packet it will be clearly marked vegan um, but in the same vein when it's vegetarian it will say vegetarian so check your labels as we say and um, you, you're good to go lot of serve poker sausage rolls Sainsbury's own no pork pies ah uh, ah uh, the price has been hidden why do supermarkets do this £2.60 I'll do your jobs for you Sainsbury's <laughs> um, the, these are I mean Clive's pies £5.80 for one pie Oh no, that's Clive's organic nut roast. Oh no, it is a pie, isn't it? it organic like nut roast pie. Um, and then yeah. their actual pies are four pounds seventy each. However, they've also got the Pucker New Vegan No Steak Pie for two pound, and a Pucker No Vegan Steak Slice for one ninety five. Got a Ginster's corn pasty here, one ninety-five, and a whole range of tofu and tempeh. If you don't know what to do with tofu, I'm going to link my one of you lovely subscribers called it a tofu masterclass. So I'm going to say that's what it is. <laughs> Take it. A tofu masterclass vlog, uh, in which I show you how to make tofu four ways. So, you know, if you fancy having a bash. And on we go. Future Tuna, which we bought last week from Tesco's, but we haven't tried yet. These lovely new little pots from uh, Squeaky Bean, protein pot, beef ragu. Says on it goes well with pasta or rice or baked potatoes. £3, but if you fancy a little protein boost and a right good tasty tea, you can't grumble. Got the meatless farm filled pastas, the Norduja ravioli. Uh, I think that might be the only one they've got in here at the moment. We've tried all three, haven't we? We have. Uh, all three are available in Tesco's and they're gorgeous. Um, this, this is weird because it says vegetarian from Linda McCartney's, but it's also vegan approved. Uh, and it's lovely. Hoisin duck meal kit. So you get the duck style shreds in there and you get the pancakes, you've just got to add the cucumber or whatever you fancy having with it. This isn't chicken roast, it's still here for $5.95 and the chicken piece is $2.75. Southern fried chicken from the vegetarian butcher, $3.50. And what the cluck piece is, $3.15. Impeccable chicken breast, £2 with your nectar card. What is that? Chorizo. Squeaky bean chorizo. Lovely. And then we've got Richmond bacon. This isn't bacon. 
La Vie Bacon. Um, we're a huge fan of this one. We're a, I mean, we're a fan of them all because they're cruelty free, you know. But for taste, we love La Vie. It's, it's gorgeous. It's one of the best, isn't it? If not the best. Ogg's whole egg alternative. A lot of people using bacon and stuff. Cauldron. Now, original veggie recipe because it's not vegan. They were vegan and then they changed them back. So it says clearly vegetarian approved. So we ignore them. <laughs> Richmond sage and onion and plain old sausages. Got Richmond burgers. Plant Pioneers Veggie Burgers for £2. Oh, they've got their vegan cheese quarter pounders, Jason. Oh, nice. If you've never had these, they are basically the Linda McCartney quarter pounders, but with cheese in uh, in the middle of them. Vegan cheese. 2 75 Absolutely gorgeous. Plant Pioneers Meatless Steaks, £3. Uh, these corn mangas, by the way, are clearly marked vegan. Oh, nice. Well, which is nice to see. And they're 2 25 And then there's a whole uh, bunch of minces, no beef mince from Richmond, from Meatless Farms. A lot of people rave about this one. Um, so if you fancy having a go at making something with a vegan mince, there you go. And that, my loves, is just one section here in Sainsbury's. You can get a whole range of stocks and gravies and such. Uh, our perfect gravy is um, Bisto Best Onion Gravy. It always has been for many years because it's always been vegan by ingredient. But now they actually put it on there, which is lovely to see. And uh, for those of you that don't know, you can actually get now OXO meat-free chicken style and beef style oxo cubes they're both absolutely gorgeous i was made up when they came out uh, and i've got huge amounts of them all at home however i'm short on vegetable ones so we'll just pick some up they're clearly marked vegan and um, anyone who likes a cup i used to love a cup of beef oxo just as like a beef tea tastes exactly the same as it always did it's beautiful uh, but it's vegan. Oh, there's all sorts going on at the moment. Are they all... Uh, are they... Let's have a quick look. Vegan. I mean, obviously these are. Yeah. Mediterranean veg filler. You know, for if you're doing stuffed peppers or something. 140. Oh, and plant pioneers do their own onion gravy. Ready made in a pouch. £1.40. Yes, they are. They're all marked on the side there. Suitable for vegans and vegetarians. Oh, nice. So, more fillers to stuff all your bits. <laughs> oh, and never seen them before. They're new. Meat free burger mix, are they vegan? They are. £1.50 or £2.25. Packs or meat free burger mix and uh, meat free meatball mix. Lovely. This should be our thumbnail, by the way. <laughs> Just that? Yeah. <laughs> Onward. We've noticed a lot of comments online about the Stamford Street two garlic baguettes, which were vegan, but for some reason Sainsbury's have now added milk. And it'd be nice if Sainsbury's told us why they've added milk into something that was clearly fine without milk uh, and was suitable for vegans. Why have you now made it only suitable for vegetarians and added a, an item of cruelty into it? Uh, answers on a postcard, please, to people who give a shit. Thank you. This, however, is really good. Garlic and extra virgin olive oil chibata. Jason and I have this often. Tesco's do an equivalent one, which is also... Um, that's a garlic and parsley bread. I think so, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so it's clearly marked vegan. Oh, Jason. Sorry. It's clearly marked vegan. As you can see, it's £2.50. I don't know, that's the mozzarella flatbread, so I'll have to see you check the price online. We'll show you the price here now, we don't usually look. It's just when we're having spaghetti and meatballs or another pasta type dish, we like a garlic bread and this does in the air fryer in 10 minutes and it's gorgeous. Fancy a ready meal? 
busy at work, want to just get home and whack something in the microwave or the air fryer, well you can do. Um, they've got a nice little range, uh, no chicken tikka masala, didn't you do that one? I oh. think I've done them all to be honest, I, I, I kind of rate them all in terms of the ready meals, they're decent. Yeah, Jay's done most of these on uh, lunchtime taste tests which form part of our Tuesday meals vlog. They're not in every week but they're in most weeks. I love the turquoise of this container. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about it, dude. Uh, £3.50 for that. £3.50 for chickpea and potato masala. £3.50 for sweet potato katsu curry. They've got a tofu burrito, currently yellow stickered. Lentil cottage pie. And then some of the bowl meals, which are. Uh, when they're vegan, they're marked, clearly marked vegan, aren't they? And yeah. You've, you've tried quite a few. Shout out the bald stuff. Uh, the vegan ones are brilliant. I've had them all. Uh, and also shout out uh, the Veg Gyoza, which is 375 with your club card. But that is amazing. I've had that a couple of times. That is a hearty lunch. It looks it, actually. Look Are at you? the depth. <laughs> Jay's all about the weight. <laughs> So that, yeah, that's excellent. I mean, I've been fortunate enough to get it yellow stickered a couple of times, but that is top notch. Isn't there not. quite a few of them that are vegan? I think this is the, uh, no, this is the yakisoba noodles as well, but it's, uh, it's smaller and you've not got the... Yeah, well, we haven't all got huge bellies, Jason. Yeah, but when you consider this is three quid and that's 375. Yeah, but it's not, oh, it's not just, people <laughs> don't think like that. Some people think about how much room they've got in their belly for yeah. food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True, <laughs> true. <laughs> Uh, right, and then over here, I've got a huge amount of hummuses and dips and all kinds. Uh, Plant Pioneer's coleslaw is 125 and it's quite lovely. Um, also, the pink pickled slaw we've had a good few times. Again, clearly marked, vegan, 175. That's it's really tangy and gorgeous. Uh, holy moly guacamole is clearly marked vegan, as is the holy moly aioli. There we go, you see. And uh, many, if not most, of Sainsbury's hummuses are clearly marked vegan. As we always say, when they're vegan, they say they're vegan. So do check your labels. Um, but even some of the, oh no that won't be that's whipped feta dip Whip. extra smooth hummus vegan nice fancy ones what about the sabra let's see suitable for vegetarians it says ah and it's a may contain ah right okay yeah. so yeah um, like, as we always say, check your labels, but there are a huge amount of cold bits, hummuses, guacamoles, and other dips and things. Marvellous. Should you fancy making something, shoving something in pastry? Do search Google for those vegan guys shoving things in pastry. You might just be delighted. <laughs> um, yeah, just roll puff pastry sheets and short puff pastry sheets are clearly marked vegan, 175. However, so are Sainsbury's own puff pastry sheet, 99p, and short crust pastry sheet, 99p, clearly marked vegan. Pizza Express pizza dough, £2.40, but clearly marked vegan. What? Oh, yeah. There it is. Did you see? And there's a whole plethora of... This is the block that we couldn't show you at Tesco. Uh, but I go through two or three of these at Christmas me. I have a, I have a proper little um, butter pot. And I, oh, I do love my butter at Christmas. But I only have it at Christmas. Um, so there's a block and a spreadable. Absolutely gorgeous. They're uh, 4.25 for the spreadable and 2.25 for the block. How much more is there in that? Uh, that's 450 grams. Oh, well, there you go, that's yeah. why. Uh, Flora also do plant butter here, of course, uh, like they do in Tesco's. Two pound or 125 nectar price. And of course, they've got Pure and Vitalite and a whole plethora of Flora 
which is all vegan now um, so there's plenty of spreads and some of the others will be uh, marked as vegan too if you if you check them out but uh, we've just shown you a plethora look no further get your spreads here so they do have an alternative dairy section free from at the end there we'll go to in a minute but mixed in with all the kind of dairy cruel cheeses here they've got philadelphia plant based 275 cathedral city love this stuff three pounds 63 20 nectar price they've got the block and the grated they've got uh, the boursin vegan at two pound and the nourish plant based alternative to camembert uh, 350 or two pound with an extra card we won't go through them all one by one, but Sainsbury's do their own range of uh, soya, almond and oat drinks. And this is on the chilled aisle. There is a whole plethora, including um, cold coffees and stuff like mocha cold brew. Do you see? and caramel and very lovely things oh what's that barista edition oat drink barista I, I'm always I can't say that word it's because my brother were a barrister so yeah that's just on the chilled section and now up to the alternative dairy section the official one at the end right we're at the it's just this top section here oh look yellow stickers love them um they've got the plant-based baby bell 175 next price 215 normal uh applewood vegan slices sainsbury's own free from grated cheddar style actually quite lovely uh, applewood vegan block sainsbury's own garlic and herb spread lovely via life cheddarton via life Greek style, 275 and three pound respectively. Slices, smoky slices, all around the two pound odd mark. Via uh, life block, via life grated. And then up at the top here, we've got Alpro. Oh! Dairy free. Coconut collaborative dairy free clean 49p clearance. Is that that? It is. 49p clearance. Oh, nice. I mean, we don't need it, but yeah. Double cream alternative. Wonderfully whippable. Clearly marked vegan. Uh, yes, that. Lovely. Um, and then the coconut collab chop pots are gorgeous, as are the plant based girl, especially when they're yellow stickered. A whole range of cream alternatives, too, uh, from. Um, Oatly Creme Fresh alternative at £1.75 uh, to Whippable Creamy Oat 135, Creamy Oat 125, Alpro Single Soya 120, and Elmley 100% Plant. I think that's 165. Now, this is on the dairy section with all the rest of the dairy, but they do have a really good selection of Alpro uh, yogurts. Um, Greek style and plain and strawberry uh, all around the kind of £2.10 mark 150 with your next card um, got the Alpro high protein pots 75p uh, the mixed yogurts are lovely two, two blackberry, two raspberry and cranberry we also do two strawberry banana, two peach pear 250 even Alpro Gut Health now. And then uh, Oatly, Oat Gut. Oh dear. <laughs> and Coconut Colab. And Jord Vanilla Plant Based. And Natural from the Coconut Colab at the end there for 220 So a nice couple of shelves. And then luckily for us, right facing, is the pasta section. So I'm getting two of these to fill up my penne pot at home 75p clearly marked vegan we always have whole wheat pasta it takes a bit longer to cook but it's gorgeous stays firm full of flavor and they have a plethora of it 
picked up some rice from here as well. We have this long grain brown, brown rice by Sainsbury's. It takes about 25 minutes to cook, uh, but it's lovely. Again, it's so much more flavorful than white rice and far less environmentally impacting. White rice uh, does damage the environment. If you look it up, Google it, brown rice is far less, has far less impact on the environment. It's £1.39, huge amount there. And that'll go in my little pot at home. Um, but there's also, like there is in most places now, a whole load of packet rices as well. And a lot of Sainsbury's own ones, which are 85p, are clearly marked vegan. Oh, brown rice, funnily enough. Just like we were just talking about. Yep, and there's a mushroom rice. Is that vegan? I kind of see spicy Mexican style rice is clearly marked vegan on the front. Jasmine. Loads. And a lot of the Tilda ones are clearly marked vegan as well. But as we always say, when they are vegan, they are clearly marked. It's so random, that's not clearly yeah. marked. I know, it's weird, isn't it? It is a little bit weird, yeah. Um, I'm looking for where that says vegan. Because I'm pretty sure it is. It's vegetarian. Oh dear. See, even we get bamboozled sometimes. But by ingredient, looking at it, it is. Whereas the coconut chili and lemon crab. Oh, no. Ah, no, it says flower honey. I'm ah. Like, I don't even know what that is. Whereas that one says vegetarian and vegan, yeah, clearly. Yeah. So, it, this so I, like we always say, when they are, they're clearly marked. And they're usually like a quid and stuff, these packet rices. Oh, I also get me extra virgin olive oil from Sainsbury's. £7.60 for a big bottle, but it's great. Right, onward. One of you fine folk mentioned to us, to us recently that the um, Sainsbury's nan breads were now clearly marked vegan. Well, unfortunately, not in our store as yet. So that might be something to keep your eyes on, guys. Apparently, uh, for some people, in some stores, they're now clearly marked vegan. These ones might be old stock and the new stock might be coming in. There are uh, lots of vegan nan breads out there available. You can get them from Asda and from Iceland and from Heron. Um, I don't think you can get them from Tesco, can you? Vegan nan breads. However, did you know that all of these um, spice pastes from Pataks, Madras, clearly marked vegan, Rogan Josh, clearly marked, Tikka Masala, even the Korma, which would be lovely with, because um, obviously you use this as your paste and then add a add a can of coconut milk. You've got a gorgeous curry. Are they all? They all are. Yeah, I've got the Mild curry. Here as well. That's really good, isn't it? The only one that isn't, I think, is pretty obvious. The butter, butter chicken. The butter chicken. Yeah. yeah, and probably that Korma one at the end there. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. So they're not vegan, but the pastes are. And you'll find that with a lot of um, sauces, when they're clearly marked vegan, then they're clearly marked vegan. And uh, it's the same with like pasta sauces as well, isn't it? Yeah, I spotted this. Um, not necessarily, I'm not a massive fan of these, um, but some people might like them, and I've not seen them before, so new to me. Uh, it, Vietnamese summer roll kit. £3.25 and you've got your full kit there. Your little rice papers um, and... But 100% plant powered. Now, yes. it says... You can fry these, you know. You don't have to have them cold and wet. Ah, Once okay. you've kind of rolled them up, you can fry them or even air fry them and they go crispy on the outside. That's all right. Yeah, that would be more like it. I've checked all these. None of them are. No. Ignore all that. And onward. When you see us do noodle dishes at home that's not like noodles from a packet as in with sauce and everything, like our noodle soup, for example. I'll share the recipe up there now, gorgeous. Uh, it's these noodles, quick cut medium noodles, pound a packet from Sainsbury's, clearly marked vegan, absolutely lovely. They do ribbon noodles and thick udon noodles, but the medium ones are always the ones we go for, uh, just because they're absolutely lovely. 
Um, Blue Dragon. A lot of these are vegan as well, aren't they, Jay? Yes. Stir fry sauces. Clearly, See? clearly it says marked. It on there, right there. 95p or 75p with your Nectar card. Um, always, when they are vegan, they say vegan right on the front. Yeah. Marvellous. Right. On we go. Just spotted all these uh, food core pickles. Hot mango and lime. Hot mango. Lime and chilli. Sweet lime pickle. Sweet red chilli. Hot mixed pickle. Dry garlic chutney. And sweet and spicy chilli and garlic. They're all £2 and they're all, all of them, clearly marked vegan. Says right there. Suitable for vegans in tiny writing. But that's lovely. Um, I love a lime pickle meat. And as I've mentioned before, if you're going to buy your spices like cumin, coriander, chilli powder, turmeric, etc., start buying these packets um, because you can fill up your little glass bottles at home. So, you know, you just buy one original one. This is what I do now. And uh, buy the powders. You save money and you save packaging. And there's a whole plethora of uh, pulses and... Oh, where did you see those lentils and stuff before, Bromus? Um, anyway, there's all your powders. Cumic, cumin, turmeric, black pepper, all sorts. Good prices, really good stock, um, stock makers. And on the same aisle as all the dried kind of cumin and coriander, you've got these lovely big packs of lentils I've not seen brown lentils for ages there's green ones there I, I like brown ones anyway loads of lentils re and dried red kidney beans and other things in huge packets good money savers even in tins E have not seen sriracha mayo for ages but there it is oh my god I'm so vegan look at me wearing my necklace <laughs> uh, £2.70 with your nectar card 360 otherwise um, and they've got all sorts of soy sauces, Kikoman, clearly marked vegan, um, premium light soy sauce from Lee Kum Ki, clearly marked suitable for vegans, things like this, chilli garlic sauce, £2.10, clearly marked, they do a box tofu but it's soft so that might be perfect for desserts or very runny style scrambled tofu if you liked your scrambled eggs very soft that would be the way to go uh, and they've also got gochujang hey clearly marked vegan and absolutely perfect for bibimbap if you haven't seen my bibimbap uh, vlog i'll link that up there as well because it'd be rude not to want it whole range of noodles in here and some of the pot noodles now are clearly marked vegan such as Thai green curry fusion one clearly marked vegan and the chilli chicken is also clearly marked vegan um, and the katsu curry many of them are but oh and they're a pound next price or 140 um, but there's also Sainsbury's do their own no chicken they do a Thai style spicy coconut noodles and a beef style and they're one pound thirty. They're okay. They're just okay. The, the, the Sainsbury's pots, and I don't think there should be a, just a ten p difference between your classic. No, I know. And a plant pioneers, but that's just my humble opinion. And that's a, you know, it's only for folk who fancy an instant noodle. Not all folk do, but some like a butty with a noodle. True, I do. Sainsbury's still have the uh, vegan Heinz cream of tomato soup. Clearly marked vegan. 170 the same price as the non-vegan version and they've also got the um, beans and vegan sausages for 165 if you've got a nectar card otherwise do pound and Sainsbury's own own um, basic beans and spaghettis are clearly marked vegan we have them in our cupboards all the time some of the things that we always buy um, as we always say check your labels but look at these Princes, 
plant-based uh, lentil mushroom bolognese says vegan on the box there and chunky vegetable curry and Thai uh, Thai curry £1.30 with an extra card One seventy-five otherwise warm it up, whack it on a plate isn't it? more nice, uh, if a little pricey but I bet they're good, ready meals merchant uh, spicy lentil chilli, just add rice clearly marked vegan along with the lentil madras curry and the poi lentil bolognese, just add pasta you know, and if for one person that might do two meals. So Sainsbury's do their own tofu chunks uh, in a smoked flavoured water and just in water. And a few people have said they're quite nice. They've kind of fried them up and served them with a salad or whatever. Really enjoyed them. Um, this tofu, when it says silken firm, that's good again for a softer style. Not really soft scrambled tofu but still a softer style and of course you can get banana blossom in water which is used as a fish alternative people just whack batter on it and fry it up and tins of jackfruit in water which you can make pulled pork style stuff or you can do all sorts with it it's really good and that's uh, 175 for the jackfruit and 160 for the banana blossom 210 for the tofu box and 175 for the tofu in tins. Either's right, a lot of things like popcorn and crisps. This simply sweet butterfly popcorn from Sainsbury's uh, is clearly marked vegan. In fact, all of them are. There's the simply sweet, the sweet and salty, the simply salty, and then you've got lentil triangle. Oh, they're all 150, by the way. Lentil triangles, lightly salted by Sainsbury's. Um, Jason. Oh, yes, yes, of course. Um, vegan prawn star. Did you get it? <laughs> Did you get it? Vegan prawn star. <laughs> clearly marked. And also the uh, the flame grilled steak, clearly marked, £2.25. Yeah, cool. Sainsbury's own stuff as well. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sainsbury's own stuff, so the bacon crispies, the potato twirls, the onion rings. They're all 120. Crunchy sticks and potato sticks, all clearly marked vegan. Nice one. Brilliant. Yeah, there's loads of crisps and stuff, um, including just like basic packs. Uh, as we always say, sorry to keep saying it, but it's so important. Always check your labels, and you'll find there's plenty available. Oh, they've got the Walker's Unbelievables in. New vegan flavour. I wish it didn't say limited edition. Why, Walker's? If they're popular, why wouldn't you keep them? Well, we'll see. Um, flame grilled steak. We had a packet of them just last night for our supper. And they were gorgeous. Barbecue pork rib. We've had them as well. And they're gorgeous. Grilled cheese toasty. That's the first time we've seen them. And they've gone straight in trolley. We're not daft, Barbara. It's the free from aisle. It's a gold mine mm -hmm. and a minefield. All in one. So check your labels, because you never know sometimes. You've just spotted these two, haven't you, Miss? I have, and they're, uh, they're usually £1.50, but they're a pound at the moment. They're clearly marked vegan and gluten free. Um, so, yeah, there we go, on the side there. VGGF. And there's a double chocolate caramel cup and a salted almond caramel cup. They're a pound at the moment, so we're having one. Look, there they are for a pound. We're not showing Easter eggs yet, because it's just rude at this time of year. Can we get through January, please? <laughs> uh, if you've never tried Booja Booja chocolates, by the way, they are beautiful. A little bit pricey, but utterly gorgeous chocolate salted caramel truffles. Always clearly marked vegan, are oh, the Booja Booja. Um, these are all gorgeous. Oh, yeah, the buttermilk bars. Yeah. Right, yeah, we'll talk about these, actually. So, caramel nugget. That's basically vegan Mars bar. Um, honeycomb. That's basically a vegan crunchy. And there's there's like a... Coconut chocky bar, yeah. vegan bounty. Yep. Put one of them in the trolley. Oh, OK. Trolley, please. 
uh, the beautiful peanut nugget chocolate bar. Oh. Yeah. That, there's your Snickers. Yeah. It's great. Uh, and a lot of no more chocolate. There's loads of chocolate. Rhythm 108 bars are gorgeous. All the buttermilk stuff is gorgeous. Oh, there's just a plethora. And a whole load of um, vegan and gluten free crisps and things as well. But we can't show you everything else, we'd be here all day. So, onward again. Just a very quick look at the standard chocolate aisle rather than the um, free from. Uh, you can get two of the Ritter smooth chocolate bars that are clearly marked vegan here the smooth chocolate and the salted caramel. Um, we've tried them both and they're quite lovely. We've also got the Lint bars. Oh, the um, Ritters, by the way, are 150. These are 340. Vegan smooth, caramel sea salt and vegan hazelnuts. And they've also got the Cadbury's Plant uh, Almond Bar for 250. Up at the top there. They've even got some right posh ones. I haven't seen these ones before, but they're £3.50 a bar. But they're, um, well, look on front, no artificial sweeteners, no, no this, no that, no palm oil, no soy, no gluten. No lesser thins, hazelnut butter, dark chocolate filled, ooh, almond butter, cashew butter. I kind of fancy trying that, to be honest. But no, we've got loads of chocolate at home. So yeah, um, there's there's lots. And now we'll go to the next aisle. So as We've just spotted Sainsbury's do their own soya alternative dairy milk, unsweetened, clearly marked vegan, and 50p. They do a sweetened one for 99p. Uh, they do an almond for 99p. And I think that's it. But here is the long life vegan milk section in Sainsbury's. We're not going to show you each and every one of them individually, but there they are. Um, a whole plethora, all different prices. The one that we've stuck with for absolutely years is that one. It's just great in tea and coffee and on cereal and for cooking. Marvellous stuff. And continuing on the free from aisle, which is this bit here where we showed you the some of the chocolates before, there is a whole load of like there's a vegan tomato pesto. A vegan basil, basil pesto, basil pesto pots. Oh, chili pesto. Bolognese sauce. These are all from Sackler. Vegan cheese sauce. All kinds of bits. Free from aisles are usually a, a, a gold mine. And as Jason said before, and a minefield. So... Read your labels and you'll be right. Cornflakes, go free. Cornflakes, two pound next to price, clearly marked vegan. And rice pops also, clearly marked vegan and also two pound. Next card price, two fifty. Otherwise, um, and there's a few down here, but the kind of pricey. Chocolate stars, gluten free, vegan and organic. And fiber flakes, uh, clearly marked vegan. It's nice to see some cereals, isn't it? Yeah. Autobix from Weetabix. Uh, Weetabix are vegan as well. Um, clearly says it's on the packet somewhere, I doesn't we, it? I think we've checked before, yeah. I know, but I just like to yeah. make sure. Yeah, suitable for vegetarians and vegans. And the same with the Autobix. And uh, also with the Autobix flakes. Unfortunately, things like Kellogg's Corn Flakes which need to get a grip now are not vegan because they've got vitamin D and it's not the vegan vitamin D it's the one that they scrape off a sheep's skin gross and to the freezers um, much like we've mentioned before almost all of the bird's eye green cuisine range is vegan except for the veggie burgers which is really, really random. However, they do sausages and meatballs and grills and chicken 
dippers, southern fried grills, they're gorgeous. Uh, but they've got an offer on their own things at the moment, £1.42 for the no beef meatballs. Them are the meatballs we have all the time. Whenever you see us having spaghetti and meatballs, it's them ones. One eighty six for the no meat mints, plant pioneers. One fifty nine for the two battered fishless fillets. Two pound twelve for the ultimate burgers, and one pound nineteen for the um, four no sausage rolls. They've they've price matched middle there, haven't they? One sixty nine spicy bean quarter pounder. And 169 for the vegetable quarter pounder. Lovely. We've just got some um, meatballs and some fishless fillets because it would have been rude not to at that price. Mm -hmm. uh, and they've got a whole load of Linda McCartney. Wonderful stuff. Mints and pies and sausages and burgers and chicken style fillets. Beyond Meat burgers. Kind of falling in love with them a little bit at the moment. That price. Yeah, we've had them a couple of times and they're so nice. Uh, and Richmond, um, no chicken pieces and sausages and mints. Load of corn stuff, not all of it vegan, as we always said, check your labels. Oh, corn roasts are vegan for the kids, you know. Lovely. This isn't uh, the tenders, three pound, and the this isn't chicken pieces, three pound. BFC chicken fillets, which go great on a burger, three pound, and chicken tenders, lovely to see. A lot of uh, strong roots, vegetable stuff. So yeah, um, quite a good selection in the freezers as well. And a lovely little plethora of um, ice creams and stuff. Pretty much the same as uh, Tesco on this front. Uh, the vegan raspberry swirl and vegan almond magnums. The jude salted caramel. One of the best ice creams on the market. The Swedish glacé. And a whole load of Ben and Jerry's vegan ice creams. And other selections, jude's and such. Yeah, lovely to see. Now, nothing will ever replace um, Coleman's English Mustard for us, personally. But Sainsbury's do do their own version, which is clearly marked vegan, along with a whole grain mustard and a Dijon. 68 and 69p they are, and clearly marked vegan. The Dijon mustard is quite... In fact, I'm going to get one of them. Not had any Dijon in for a while. So yeah, get some of that. Uh, and you'll find, you honestly, you'll find so many sauces and different dips and salad dressings and so much clearly marked vegan. Particularly when it comes to, in fact, I want to show you one of our favourite salad dressings, which we get quite a lot from here, which is... This one. Be good to yourself. French dressing. Clearly marked vegan. And it's a pound. I've got two in fridge at the moment, so I don't need any. But yeah, even Plant Pioneer's vegan Caesar style dressing, £1.10. Uh, Pizza Express house light dressing, clearly marked vegan. Many of these fancy ones are balsamic dressing, clearly marked vegan. Fancy vinaigrette. French style vinaigrette, warm. And what's this one? Raspberry vinaigrette, vegan. Moroccan style dressing. Wagamama house dressing with shallot, soy, and garlic, £2.50, clearly marked vegan. Lovely. There's loads of them. And then you get to the vegan mayos. Hellman's vegan mayos in bottles and squeezes and and all sorts and uh, a lot of the Leon stuff here is vegan too oh it's 
not having none of that. Says vegan, honestly, trust us. But when they are, they Korean chili mayo, I bet that's lovely actually. Um, and of course, Sainsbury's do their own Plant Pioneers vegan mayo, a garlic one and a plain one. Merely £1.30, merely. Right, I think we're pretty much done. Um, so we'll just end with what we're buying. Oh, we haven't picked up wine yet, so we need to go there before we check out. And there we go. That's just us. Oh, well, that's it for Sainsbury's. Uh, of course, there are a lot of cordials and fruit juices and tonic waters. There's loads of wine clearly marked vegan uh, on the back. We didn't show you that because but it's, it's quite busy for a Friday. It's weird. No one's working in Ashton. <laughs> People don't have jobs. I don't know what's going on. It's mega busy. Unless um, everyone works Monday to Thursday like we do. Maybe. Maybe. In the, the smart folk, or should I say maybe the privileged folk, those that are able to do a four-day week in a regular normal job, do it. Do oh, it. God, it makes a world of difference. Work-life balance. Anyway, we, we digress. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, the, yeah, there's, obviously we cannot uh, show you everything in a supermarket that is clearly marked vegan but we hope we've shown you that you can go and do a full weekly shop uh, at Sainsbury's they do have a great selection of fruit and veg always we, we get most if it, much if not most of our fruit and veg from Sainsbury's yeah and we hope we've shown you there that there is always uh, a huge amount of items in there. Those offers at the moment on the Plant Pioneer's own products, the meatballs and the mints and the fishless yeah. style pieces, one pound odd. That's brilliant. That's really good. Like, re the meatballs are lovely. We've ne we've tried other meatballs. Mm -hmm. We've always gone back to them ones yeah. because they were there for us ten years ago when other stuff wasn't. Yeah. Yeah, and you know what? Sometimes loyalty is important when it comes to stuff like that, uh, even though the supermarkets aren't necessarily always loyal to us. No. Um, but yeah, it's been it's been great. Sainsbury's down here is brilliant. Um, if your Sainsbury's isn't as good as this Sainsbury's down here... Try another one in a town nearby. Yeah, this is like literally four miles from the other Sainsbury's in the car. It's about four miles. Is it? it? About three and a half, four miles between Oldham and Ashton. Yeah, it's really not that far, but massively different. Um, so like Paul said right at the start, um, the postcode lottery thing when it comes to shopping is a real thing. Yeah. Um, but sometimes another store just three or four miles away, you might be very pleasantly surprised. Hopefully, you will be. So we hope that your veganuary is going well and that you are hurtling towards the decision that this is the right lifestyle for you and the animals and the planet and future generations, because it is. Um... And we hope we've shown you that it's far easier and more affordable than you were led to believe before you tried it. Yeah. And now we're going to go and do another vlog. vlog. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Friday, everybody. <laughs> love you, mister. I love you, mister. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you again very soon. And until then, will you please be excellent to yourself and each other? Bye, loves.